just can't get it there. Bristing in his Crosby. Trying to get through. He scores! What a play by Sidney Crosby to win it in overtime for Pittsburgh. Beautiful goal while tonight's top story. Expansion talk in the NHL. More teams for Canada, more teams for the NHL. Good thing, bad thing. Matt Cause is with TSN Radio, joins us in our Toronto studio. Matt, we're talking two potential Canadian teams. The yep. NHL's denying this, and we'll get to Bill Daly's quote in a moment, but this gets people excited. Yeah. More NHL in Canada, and, and you know, Toronto would actually get a team. Um, yeah, listen, if they, if they did expand, if they did expand to Toronto and, the, and that pie in the sky story that there'd be four teams, two of them were Canada, well, yeah, it, Quebec City and, and Toronto. That's what would make the sense. And then sense. south of the border, Seattle and Las Vegas. Yeah, Seattle and, and, and Las Vegas. Um, and, and that's the two that you hear about south of the border. To me, it doesn't make sense to have four teams. If you're Gary Bettman and you're thinking about your legacy, and I mean, he still has a while to go before he'll retire. I think Bud Selig was 108 mm. before they finally booted him <laughs> at the door. But you want two more teams in the West, because right now there's 16 teams in the East, there's 14 teams in the West. That doesn't make any sense. You want that sort of balance. So if, you, if we're expecting a team in Quebec or in Toronto, I think what you would see is a Florida Panthers squad, you know, a decrepit team down south moving up to Canada. Same thing we saw with Atlanta moving over to Winnipeg. All right, well, let's get to, uh, to Brian Daly, or sorry, Bill Daly, talking yeah. about this, saying he's deputy commissioner of the NHL. And he says, expansion, not in our plans. Nothing new to report on expansion. But they always say that. Yeah. And this is why he's unbelievable on this, because there have been talks about, no, nobody's going to move. No, we're not going to expand. And then one day, boom. Yeah. And I get why they do it. They're trying to protect business secrets. Uh, the idea of Seattle or Vegas, though, do those make sense to you? I know Canadians are always saying no U.S. market is ever good enough other yeah. than the original six. But I, I think both of those make sense. Yeah, both of those do make sense. And you got to remember, for a lot of this, this is about Canada. And I hate to say this because I'm Canadian, but we're a little snobby when it comes to the NHL. We figure, oh, it shouldn't be down south in America. And I get the arguments against Las Vegas. It's a city where it's, it's not a huge city, and it's a lot of just people coming in and out for short visits. But remember, there's no professional team in Las Vegas. The best thing you can do is to be the first professional team there. You can capture the minds and souls and hearts of a lot more fans if you're there first. There's also a lot of money in that area. You're close to Los Angeles. Los Angeles, the Kings just won two Stanley Cups. Mm -hmm. You're not telling me there's some billionaires there that are in the entertainment industry, which is in Hollywood, and think to themselves, I'd love to have a team. You know, I'd love to own a professional team. Vegas would be great, and it'd be also great ego boost. And that's the main thing you want. You just want billionaires that are committed. <laughs> you have that, and you can have an NHL right. team. Seattle, I yeah. think, would actually be profitable in terms of, and, and let's face it, profitability now in the NHL is all about TV rights. It's about Which are going sponsorships up and, up. and everything yeah. else. I mean, but Seattle, I think, would actually be a draw. They could fill an arena every night. Yeah, it was, Seattle, the only knock against Seattle is their focus is still more getting an NBA team after they lost theirs to Memphis. But you're right, Seattle does work. You'd also be able to get some of the Vancouver fans would be able to come down as well. And the value of any sports franchise means so much more than it did 20 years ago because TV rights mean so much more. Back in the day, before PVR, advertising dollars would go to any, would go to any TV program. But what do we have now? We PVR all our favorite shows. We wait till the season is done, and then we buy it on DVD. The one thing you can't do that with is live sports. Mm -hmm. So every five, seven, eight, ten years, when the TV contracts are up, it always gets jacked up a ton because advertisers know that's the safest product out there. And then who wins? The owners of teams. It's the safest bet. I think it could work in Seattle. I, I think it could work in Las Vegas if you had the right ownership. I, I would love to make a lot of jokes about Toronto. Ah, finally getting a pro hockey team. Yes, but I want to ask you, you why. Yeah. <laughs> I want to ask you why the perennial speculative market is not there. Hamilton. Yeah. Everyone's always talked about Hamilton being the place to move a team to. It's the the threat that owners yeah. have used time and again. And it was always in speculation as an expansion market. Now, not even it's, mentioned. It's not. A couple things. First, we, I don't think we've cleaned off enough of the Jim Ball silly stink <laughs> that he left there. I mean, he went about it the completely wrong way. He was very arrogant, just rubbed, you know, Bettman and Daly and everyone the wrong way. 
So I think that's part of it. Also, what's going on in Hamilton right now? We don't even know if the Labor Day game is going to be ready between the Argonauts and Ticats. There's issues with the stadium. There's issue with the Pan Am Games. There was all the infighting about where the new stadium was going to go for Hamilton. Yeah, don't even talk to me about the stadium. Yeah, it, it, I'm listen, depressed. It, it is. It's very depressing. I went to McMaster. I, I, I sort of like Hamilton, despite I'm a Toronto guy. Um, so I think you, you take that into account. You take in the Valsilli in account. And so Hamilton, whatever momentum they had, it's gone. It's done. It's now about Markham. That's, you know, the, the, the more the hot spot. And let's face it, there's issues there just in terms of how much walk-in traffic are you going to get. But, I mean, to me, the, the perfect scenario would be, to, would be to have another team very close to the ACC. But that's not going to happen. Well, let me it's, ask you about Quebec City. And, yeah. and full disclosure, if a team goes to Quebec City, likely going to be owned or at least managed in some way by our parent company, Quebec Corps Media. Can't hurt you. You can, yeah. get, you can get some sweet seats in the private box. Very so, important. But yeah. that's a, the, in my view, that's a good market. 20 oh, seconds to you. Oh, I, absolutely. Uh, natural rivalry with Montreal. Huge history. Rapid fan base. Uh, 100% Quebec City uh, makes so much sense. The fact that there's not a team there, I think, angers a lot of Canadian sports fans. All right. Matt, great talking to you as always. Sorry.